In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your vertical videos into widescreen videos right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you first want to begin by importing your footage into your 1920 by 1080 widescreen composition. And then from there, you just want to drag your footage on to your timeline. Now, as you can see, this is going to come up with the clip mismatch warning setting. And this says this clip does not match the sequence settings, change sequence to match the clip settings, change sequence settings or keep existing. If we select the change sequence settings, it's going to turn the sequence, that's our video into a vertical video, but we don't want that. So we're gonna select keep existing settings. And as you can see, that's imported the video and it's not quite vertical. So to fix that, we're just going to decrease the scale. So I'm gonna go over into motion. We'll go down to scale and we'll decrease the scale so that it fits the screen. So around 56% fills the screen. Now, because we film this video in vertical, it's not filling the left or the right of the screen. So what can we do? Well, there's a trick that we can do to fill the wide screen. First, we're going to begin by unlinking the audio and the video. So we'll right click or double click on the video and we'll go up to unlink. So that's unlinked the audio and the video from each other. Now we're gonna make a copy of that. So select that, hold Command C or Control C, move over and we'll go Command V or Control C if you're on Windows. Now we'll drag that on top. And as you can see, we've now got two videos, but that's not what we're going for. So we're gonna move down to video one. We'll go up to motion, scale, and we'll increase the scale so that it fills the screen. Now we'll just pull this down if you want to, or you can pull this up. It's completely up to you. Use which part of the video you want in the background. Then we'll go into effects, search for blur. We're gonna scroll down until we find fast blur. Now fast blur is in the obsolete folder, but don't worry about that. The effect still works. We'll drop fast blur onto video layer one. And now from here, we're gonna go into fast blur on the left. And as you can see, we've got blurriness, blur dimensions, and repeat edge pixels. So to begin with, we're just going to select repeat edge pixels. And then we'll go up to blurriness and we'll increase the blurriness up to around 30%. Now, as you can see, if we play this back, you can see we've got the video in the background underneath the main video, but it's a little bit distracting. So making sure you've still got video one selected, we'll go back up to the left to the opacity tab and we'll pull the opacity down to around 50, 60%, somewhere around there. Now, as you can see, our vertical video is filling the screen. We haven't got those black videos on the left and the right of our vertical video. And that is how you turn your vertical video into a widescreen video using Adobe Premiere Pro. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.